Start investing in gold and silver at sdbullion.com today and join over 35,000 precious metals investors who have made the switch to the lowest gold and silver prices in the industry. SD Bullion recently claimed a spot on the prestigious Inc. 500, making them one of the fastest growing bullion companies in the United States. With low bullion prices and over-the-top customer service, SD Bullion is setting the standard for precious metals transactions. Visit www.sdbullion.com today. Start saving on every precious metals purchase you make. Hey everyone, this is Elijah Johnson with SilverDoctors.com and with us today is Greg Manorino from TradersChoice.net. Greg, thank you so much for joining us today. Great to be back with you. It's been a while. All right. Well, I'd first like to discuss the stock market. The stock market actually recently broke 20,000 points, the Dow did, and then it experienced a little bit of a pullback on Monday and is now below 20,000 points. Now, you see that the market might have more of a pullback but in the long term, the market is going much higher. Can you expand on this? Absolutely. Um, as it seems like you uh, you know my work pretty well, but uh, you know I've been I've been bullish on this market for a while now, uh, especially since the election of uh, President uh, Donald Trump. It's a game changer, and I think people are underestimating what is going on here. It basically comes down to this: um, now that there is a a, a new sheriff in town uh, who seems to be taking the bull by the horns, no pun intended here, I think we're going to start to see investors around the world uh, in becoming more apt to put money into our markets, into into our economy as well. Um, I had said that, that the Dow was going to not only hit 20,000, it was going to rip through it, and that's exactly what happened. Um, I we need a pullback here. Uh, the same thing goes for metals. You know, I'm, I am a raging bull right now with regard to precious metals. They've been in a screaming uptrend since the end of last year. Uh, I'm hoping for a pullback there. I'm hoping for a pullback in the market now. As a matter of fact, just this past Friday, I told everyone that I was a little leery about the market. I, I specifically went over what I was doing, how I was hedging myself. Um, and, you know, the market did take a hit on Monday, but I made money. I made money because of the way I was positioned. Then I told everyone how to do it. I showed them exactly what I was doing. This was absolutely public. So anyone who had wanted to could have taken advantage of it. So I think, or at least I hope, that some uh, market seasonality is gonna is gonna take over here. Uh, February is generally weak. For every you know anyone who's a trader knows this. Um, I'm not saying that we're gonna pull back. I hope we pull back. What we saw here. On on Monday was a, you know a market that really really needs to burn some off. I mean we've had this run up since the election, almost unstoppable. We had several weeks where the market was kind of flat. It was very difficult to trade for a little bit, um, and I I'm hoping once again that we're going to get a pullback here. Um, it would be extremely bullish for this market for another leg higher. Um, I think the market is going much higher. Uh, the stock market, uh, along with precious metals as well. I, I, I don't know where this month, February is going to end. We may end up lower than we uh, ended January with, but I think, and I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm just saying hypothetically, but I think throughout the year, the way this is going here, uh, and as more investors are understanding Donald Trump's economic policy, uh, they're going to be more apt to invest here in our markets, and that's going to be a major driver. Now, we've talked before about how there's really no economic recovery happening right now. You mentioned recently that 2016 was had the lowest GDP or economic growth since 2011 for the United States. So do you think you're saying that Trump, his economic policies will cause the stock market to rise? But do you think like where do you see the economy going uh, in 2017 and during Trump's presidency? Well, I, I think I don't know if he's going to hit his GDP goals, uh, which I think may be pretty lofty. But I can say this. Um, he's going to be creating a lot of jobs. He's going to be causing a lot of companies to come back here to the United States. This is really good for our economy here. Um, I'm, I'm a bull. I'm a bull across the board. I'm bullish on our economy now. I am bullish 
uh, with regard to the markets here. Um, unfortunately, Elijah, and I think you're probably as aware of this as anyone else, is uh, we're going to see more debt. You know, I, I keep getting questions about because people are surprised when they hear me talk about how bullish I am about the markets right now, and and they so they they always come back with well, you know, the debt's going to have to increase. Well, it's always going to have to increase. I I think what people still do not understand is that first of all we're in a bubble. The debt is in a bubble, and bubbles can go on for long periods of time, as we have found out. The Federal Reserve is pretty good at keeping it uh, inflated, but the debt is not going to stop inflating. It's the nature of the beast. It's a debt-based economic model, and I honestly wish people would stop writing to me about this because if they know my work at all, this is all I've been talking about for years, is that the, it, the, the nature of our, of our, our monetary system is debt-based. It demands that debt be borrowed into existence in greater and greater amounts. It's not going to stop no matter who is at the helm here. Not going to stop. It can't. So with that, of course, we are going to see the debt increase. This is why, again, and this goes back to my premise, premise since day one, you always have to keep thinking about where this, what this means in the longer term. You need to still be betting against this debt. That means becoming your own central bank. And this is why I am such a, a, a metals bull right now. Look, at the end of last year, I kept telling everyone that the market that the this is I'm really bullish on metals and in the main street was saying no 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 sell your metals they're going down and we've seen nothing but almost a straight up run since the end of December. This is you know I hope we get a pullback here but because it's bullish it's going higher. Um, and that also has to do with some of, of Trump's economic policies with rebuilding infrastructure very bullish for, for for silver very bullish for copper gold not so much but Gold is still just so massively undervalued based upon global debt, which is not going to stop. Um, and, and until people start understanding that there's no way to stop the debt from inflating, they'll be they'll they'll be able to sleep better at night again, because I keep getting more and more people talking to me about this. Well, Greg, you know, you're so bullish about this, but what about the debt? The debt's not gonna stop. It's not going to stop until it does. Period. That's the nature of our system. What do you mean by the debt will never stop until it does. So what what do you mean by the debt stopping? Do you mean the system collapsing? <laughs> well, it, well, you know, I, there may become a point now. Look, there's no doubt that the debt is in a bubble. It's been in a bubble for quite a long time. It's unbelievable. It's the most monumental bubble in the history of the world. We've seen a lot of uh, assets uh, be inflated on the back of that bubble, uh, meaning the stock market, um, which, which I believe... Um, earnings are going to have to justify these lofty levels. Um, and so far, they seem to be kind of playing along. Uh, but again, the market is always forward looking. And the market believes that what President Trump wants to do is bullish for our economy and bullish for our markets. Now, with regard to the debt, there's, there's, there's a lot of black swans out there. Um, and you know, there is no doubt, again, that the, the debt is a problem. It's monumental. Uh, it's been a problem for many, many years. And it is in a bubble. There's no doubt about it. The This is another thing I want people to understand. And I, it's something I've been saying for quite a long time. And I'm not just the only one out here saying it. Uh, there's some pretty lofty people who feel the same exact way. That is the bull run with regard to bonds is over. It's over and done. We had it for like 30 years. You need to steer clear of the bond market. It's just, it's, it's just, it's over. Unless you want to short bonds. I mean, you know, there's a lot of ways you want to play. You can play this. But that's what you, you don't want to be in bonds. You want to be in metals. You want to be in this market right now, in this environment. And um, we just, we need to, we do need to watch the bubble in the debt. It still exists. And it's, 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 I think it's contingent upon a lot of things as to how much further it's going to go before we all have to face the music. The moment is coming where we're going to have to face the music with regard to the debt, the global debt. Um, and I think people need to understand that. And that's why, once again, going back to my original premise since day one, is becoming your own central bank and betting against this debt by holding a hard asset. Definitely. And I know you've recently talked about how that's what a lot of the wealthiest people in the world are doing. They're converting their assets into gold and silver. 
you know, people have been doing this for the longest time, Elijah. And and again, I think you know as well as I do, and I am more than certain that your listeners understand that there are, as a matter of fact, five major banks last year were implicated in manipulating the price of gold and silver to the downside. Deutsche Bank had to pay, a, a, I think it's a pathetically low, I think it was three, three $30 million fine or some nonsense for for uh, for doing this. This is... This is a big problem here, but again, I think it's uh, it's a gift to people like you and me, and probably most of your your listeners who understand how 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 suppressed these asset prices are. And I think that goes back to the premise that yeah, the wealthiest people and countries, uh, governments are hoarding this stuff. They've been doing that. Um, so that should be a big tell. I mean, for anyone who doesn't understand the fundamentals behind why it's so important to still hold on to these things, despite, in fact, I, I, you've heard me say a million times, that I don't care how low they try to push it, uh, you know, whatever they got to do. I smile because I know the longer the longer term uh, play here is to be in these assets. They are massively undervalued, massively suppressed, none more so than silver. Once again, uh, and I've been saying this, as you know, for years, silver is the most undervalued asset in the history of the world. So there's what people need to, you know, um, invest in for the longer term. These are not trades. And I've been saying that for years as well. And people should be dollar cost averaging into these. They should have been doing that for many, many years. I continue to do that. Every single month, I buy more. Um, and I will continue to do that in, in, until uh, I don't know when. But I, I, I don't see an end in sight here. Uh, I will continue to, uh, to keep acquiring these assets. If you could maybe expand for our viewers a little bit about uh, the maybe technical reasons right now why you see precious metals are headed higher? Well, technically, um, I <laughs> I think really to understand why precious metals are going higher is we need to look at the fundamentals behind them more than the technical factors. Technical factors only matter if you're a trader. It doesn't matter for any other reason. Um, you know, I look at charts all the time, technical charts, and, and they pretty much can give you, you know, not a perfect read, but a pretty good uh, perspective on where the the shorter term moves are uh, occurring. Now, from a fundamental side, um, I mean, just gauging from the fact that we do still exist in a in a world um, which is overwhelmed with the debt and will not ever stop until it does until the system uh, admits that it can't absorb any more debt. Um, that's the main fundamental driver here. Um, longer term, shorter term, I, I think we have to look at um, what Trump, uh, President Trump is talking about with regard to rebuilding uh, infrastructure. I think it's it's a, a major boon uh, for silver, um, some of the other um, material uh, building type metals, not so much for gold, although I, I do believe gold is going much higher. Uh, in in the longer run. Now, before we let you go, I wanted to touch on one last subject about the mainstream media, because I know you've been talking about them recently. And basically what you've been saying is that really we should, um, people should not just listen to the mainstream media. They, a lot of what the mainstream says is just, is just ridiculous. Can you talk a little bit about why people maybe should stop listening to the mainstream? It's all propaganda. You know what I mean? They're not going to tell you. I think, again, most of the people listening to this understand this clearly, that the mainstream media exists, uh, you know, as the as the Gestapo did, you know, to 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 propagate lies, alternative facts, whatever you want to call it, whatever they're calling it these days here. Um, and they have an agenda. There is no doubt about it. So. I think, and I, I really believe this is a trend that's been going on for a long time, uh, that, that people are smart enough to be ignoring uh, what they're hearing uh, come out of, of the mainstream, because it's all garbage, it's all lies, it's all meant to twist the way you think uh, in the wrong direction. So I think if people if avoid the mainstream media, they'll be a lot better off. All right. Well, Greg Manorino, before we let you go, are there any last thoughts you'd like to add? And where can our viewers find you online? Go to my website, traderschoice.net. 
Um, you can find all my work on there, all my most recent stock picks, which now, which now have tar price targets on them. There's also a free ebook. I encourage everyone to download. It's really free. I'm not asking for anything. I swear to you, it's free. Um, it, 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 it's a trading guide, but uh, I, I think it's important for people. You, you'll learn more about how the markets work, but it's just a few pages long, and it's uh, kind of an interesting read, I think. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you once again so much for your time. Thank you, dude.